Good day crew, my name's Luke from Aquatic Rehab Spearfishing. Uh, this morning I'm going to do an unboxing and like first impressions on a, a wooden gun, a wooden reel gun. Uh, it's been sent to me by Andre for basically testing sort of in like my local waters uh, around Auckland. The reason why I sort of got a bit intrigued about this was because um, probably five odd years ago um, I was using a Rife 120 euro wooden gun and I actually really um, liked using it so yeah I haven't used a wooden gun in quite a long time so I thought if I pull this out of the box there might be some sort of familiar aspects about it and um, you know it was hard to remember the length and stuff like that and how they how they sort of felt in the water because I've, I've gone to the uh, majority of the time using just a little 90 but um, yeah, so I won't obviously be doing any diving with this in the video. I'll just whip it out, have a bit of a look, and then, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some spearfishing done with this thing um, over the coming months. Now, uh, we're still in lockdown, coming into um, uh, it's early May, coming into winter, so it's obviously going to be a bit um, quiet, kingies and stuff like that, but, you know, might be able to go out and get a few snapper and stuff and just have a bit of a um, muck around with it. So, yeah, I'll pull it out of the cardboard here and I'm going to try to not cut any Dyneema or anything like that. It's actually a lot shorter than I expected and I'm guessing that's going to be because of the way that they're measuring it. So I actually like that. It's going to be interesting. It seems to me initially that it may be better in the water than I thought it would be. Hopefully that rain's not interfering with the audio too much. Um, welcome to New Zealand. It's going to be raining every second day for the next half a year, but that's just how it is. Okay, so what came out of the bag? Firstly, before I get to the gun, some Andre, it looks like Dyneema gloves and um, obviously for craze and stuff like that everyone knows my hands are getting abused with the thin gloves that I use in the summer um, and Andre this is like a short eye backpack so that's pretty mean so cheers to the dudes for sending that out so the guns come out a lot shorter than what I expected and um, I've just had a little look at the rigging and stuff like that because I wanted a reel on it um, so I've just um, done a bit of rigging. First impressions very different from the Rife Euro. I was a little bit um, afraid when they said 125 because I was thinking 125 is going to be this big long thing. But it's actually really short. Um, I'll, try, I'll put in a clip here of a comparison of the gun next to my 120. And it's obviously because um, it's being measured differently. So don't be, um, it's being measured from the butt. So don't be afraid when um, you're looking at 145s and 125 guns. Um, they are like, this is going to be like a good little um, pocket rocket type thing for snapper and stuff like that. But I was thinking it's going to be a big, um, large thing and um, it might be a bit um, too hectic for snapper and stuff. Another thing I noticed straight off the bat is that it doesn't, like my old Rife, the only gun I can really compare it to had a flat top. Um, this is tapered down the sides. I guess this gives a bit of like, eye relief when you're aiming. Um, so that'll be interesting to check. The rubbers are quite big. I think I had, these are 16s I think. I think I had 16s on my rifle guns. I usually run 14s these days. But um, uh, it is quite short. So it'll be interesting to see how much power it's got with that. Also it's got an enclosed track there. Um, I haven't used an enclosed track in so long. So yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Um, how that acts. Um, basically I just don't have an opinion until I look at slow-mo on the GoPro. Um, the shaft, it's quite, st uh, sorry the flopper is very very stiff at the top range however it moves sweet as um, where you want it to move so I'm guessing when a fish gets gripped by that it's just going to be, it's not going to come back. Um, so I don't know if that's going to need tuning in the future or if they stay well like that but that seems to me like it's been tuned quite well whoever's done it so that's just going to be a, a watch this space um, it's obviously got like a pencil head to it so it should be interesting to sort of have a test it's obviously got shark tabs as well because of the enclosed track this is the um, I think this is must be the safety mechanism so 
closed is safety on and then that is safety off now as long as that stays in there and doesn't move um, and wind its way down in the water during a dive I'm sure it'll be fine but as long as it, it doesn't do that then that's okay I thought it may get in the way of aiming a little bit but um, I do I'm generally quite instinctive with my shooting I'm looking at the fish so that you don't really look and I don't know a lot of people that look down the barrel so I don't think that that's going to even be a problem um, nice and simple like what you'd expect from a wooden gun and yeah as I said it's a lot shorter than um, what I was expecting it to be which is a good thing because when I'm going to be looking over ledges for snapper and that um, or any fish you know just if you want to have the gun away from the the GoPro footage if you're, you're filming um, a short gun's better to be able to go and grab back to that handle I couldn't tell you how it's going to act in the water and I'm really quite curious to know generally wood's pretty good so um, yeah it'll be interesting to see how it floats if it pulls anyway if it um, or what it does how, how well balanced it is but um, yeah I am quite looking forward to using it I have to say like it's a bit sort of refreshing um, like everyone's sort of like going more modern and more modern and you know sometimes if I go on a shore dive with a roller gun I get a bit paranoid like oh, it's so mechanical and like these days it's like you just want to go out and just get food and, and, and make a few kills and not have to worry about anything mechanical um, for me this is like the gun that's like yeah if it proves itself going out on a shore dive or whatever it's just simple throw it in the car drag it down the beach get in the water shoot some fish with it and don't have um, that sort of um, paranoia about um, uh, mechanical failure particularly when you don't have like um, rigging gear that you'd have on a boat and stuff like that so yeah all in all it's exceeded my expectations off the bat now yeah as I said uh, they measured a lot differently so if I put it ground to ground so but that that's I mean I've got a really long spear on this don't ask me why um, but that's it there next to the, the 120 so you know a lot shorter than the the, the 120 that I've got and this is advertised as a 125 just because of where it is measured from handle to handle yeah a lot shorter again still which I like um, short guns uh, I just like them the only problem with the short gun is like the more it moves up and down or side to side the accuracy penalty is bigger at range um, but there are a few like you can actually contradict that argument as well but it's something that I do um, uh, think about sometimes or when I'm watching shots of people that are that aren't very stable with guns of people that more have more of a um, you know they're coming out towards fish and they're kind of like stressing out a bit they're, it looks like they're like oh shit gotta get the fish rather than just like a smooth motion so yeah I'm pretty keen to get this in the water we're coming into May so it's cooling down kingies and stuff are leaving um, there's still a few big um, snapper in that around through winter obviously and um, yeah, I'm uh, pretty interested to give it a crack, but I can't really go any further until I do. So yeah, I'll um, put it away until uh, we're able to dive. So we're in level three lockdown and um, hopefully uh, we can get in the water within the next couple of weeks and um, yeah, have a jam with it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, if you have any questions, just um, get at us.